already done when he said it is finished. He was not, that was a loaded statement, saints. Mm -hmm. It's finished for what is, finished for what is to come, mm -hmm. and it's finished for what was. Yes. That's why you can go back. He's the God of your past just as much as he's the God of your future. Mm -hmm. That's why you can go back into the past, and if you believe it, he'll heal some things for you. And make it better. And you'll start seeing it in your relationships. If they're still here on earth. Some people have departed and gone to the other side. That's different. Amen. He gave us authority to what? Look at the bottom line up there. Authority to reign when? So it's a wonderful thing to realize that any of us to thank the extent of the dominion that God has really given us over this earth. And we will never realize it until, look at that, uh, that second bullet point from the bottom, until we reach out, until we stretch out, out of our comfort zone, out of our own understanding, yeah, yeah. out of what our cousin taught us, out of what Reverend so-and-so taught us. <laughs> and believe the rhema that's why I told you a few weeks ago. I said, God has given you a personal rhema. Now, that's why we need to turn to Romans 10 now. Turn to Romans 10. And you have to begin to exercise faith and really see things change in your life. You know, I'm up here teaching, but it's the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I say to you that Reverend so-and-so, he is just a man. Yes. Now, uh, the doctor turned, that's just a person. And I ain't scared to say what Amen. they teach you. Amen. Amen. But you better hold on to what the Holy Ghost teaches you. Yes. And you better know the difference. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Now, Amen. Romans 10, uh, 17 is a very famous scripture. Everybody uses it. They try to go here into Romans 10. <laughs> that's talking to the saints and trying to tell that to people who ain't saved, that's how they can get saved. He's talking to the saved people here. Mm -hmm. Telling you and I, we need to work on our faith. Are you, are you with me? Yeah. Amen. Now let's see what the scripture says. It says, so then faith what? Coming Cometh by, by hearing, hearing and, and hearing the by the word of God. Okay? And so... That hearing, I got my notes here. That hearing uh, is the rhema. It's not there in the scripture, but that hearing there, if you go do a trace on it, it takes you to the word rhema. R H E M A. You got two types of words that's in the scripture. The scripture, you got the logos, that's Greek, and you got the rhema. That's Greek because we're talking from the New Testament. Amen? Amen. Logos is the written word. You hear them preaching it all the time. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. So they say that Jesus is the Logos. Amen? Hallelujah. And I beg to differ with them. Jesus is not no written word. But the word that's written is Jesus. Come on now, I feel Amen. power up in here. Amen. That's the problem with trying to use your own, and I'm ending this lesson, it's getting over, it's your own intelligence and in trying to understand the word of God. In the beginning was the word, in other words, the word was life. Yes. Jesus created the world. Amen. 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 He was the word that went forth out of his own mouth that said, let there be light. Now how... How can this right here and the, uh, those your scholars, when you go to school and open up your textbooks and, and, and pay attention to that stuff, tell you this, that logos, this is logos, the written word. No, it's written about him. Amen. amen. Can somebody say amen? amen. amen. I, mean, I couldn't say it in the classroom because I'm just a student, you know, and I'm not that, the most intelligent person in the world. So I can't argue. I'm not going to get in no debate with my professors. And, and teachers about this, but I'm gonna know the truth, and it's gonna set me free. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Logos. Yes. 
It's talking about the written word, and, that, and it's talking about these Bibles that we read. That's Logos, but it's not Jesus Christ. So in the beginning was the word. It's talking about who Jesus is. The word was with God, and the word was God. Hallelujah. And verse 14, and the word was made flesh. Hallelujah to God. And so we today, we need that same deliverance from the word of God. And as we continue this, this lesson class, is, wasn't this a good lesson? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. We're going to talk some more about it next week. Romans 10, 17, hearing comes by what God whispered in your ear. It's by that word, that real word from God that you can't explain to nobody. Hmm. That's why you don't expect me to understand what God's doing in you because he told you what you was going to do. Yes. He told you yes. about your yes. life. Don't expect that person over there to understand it. That's why I ask, what is it? What is it about you or how did you know? Or They don't understand. It's Rhema. It's Rhema. Personal. Yes. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for our lesson today. It's good. It's so good. We've been set free, God, because we're receiving the truth. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.